Many years old with animals. I originally worked a long time ago with the Essex Animal Rescue Service. Uh, when I retired last year, the shop was just opening and it seemed the ideal opportunity. I'd retired. I was already working for a charity as a volunteer. And when I saw the shop was going to open, I thought this is a golden opportunity to earn and be in a dog's trust. I thought that would be something totally different. We've got dog biscuits on the counter, we feed them and make a fuss of them. And that's a really good, enjoyable experience. Having the volunteers to work with, we have a lovely crowd. It's a good team. To be going, because I knew if I retired, sitting at home, not doing too much, and not meeting people, it seemed ideal. So, yeah, I'll just get, just meeting people, socialising. I feel so wonderful and all the people. Yeah, it's really good, really good fun experience. We had five ladies come into the shop who were all going to a wedding. They came in about three o'clock and they came and bought about 20 items and they were changing them on in the shop. Parading around, we got hats, we got shoes, bags, and they completely dressed from top to bottom. Shoes, bags, everything. And to rely on somewhere like the Dogs Trust to get complete outfits was was brilliant <laughs> for anybody who is retired like myself and you want to keep your hand in you want to have that contact it's something to do that is worthwhile you know and we are obviously for the dogs trust we have a purpose that we can see because ours is local i'm a local girl i've got four dogs of my own um I have a passion for animals always have done brought up with animals uh, and I just wanted to make a difference. I uh, wanted to help out. I've got, free, you know, I've got time on my hands now. For me, it was making just that little bit of difference to some of these dogs that haven't had a very good start. I was attracted to the canine assistant role because you, you, do, you, you get to clean out of the kennels, but you also get to spend time with the dogs. Great when you see them going, they're rehomed and they're going to a fantastic family, and also being part of an amazing team. My most memorable day so far was the fun day that we held, and everyone had an amazing time. We had great weather, we had dogs everywhere, and we raised loads and loads of money. Volunteering, I get a lot of satisfaction, it's a lot of reward. Um, you see dogs that are rehomed to amazing people. They're all so well looked after here as well. So what they'll stay here is as good as it can be. Um, we all love all the dogs and it is just general reward. You think, oh, I was a part of that. As a volunteer that helps out with events, one of the good things is that it usually held on a weekend and you can commit to helping out at various events whether they will be big events or small events um, whether it's half the morning or the entire day but it's a good opportunity to meet lots of people see lots of different breeds of dogs and have an interaction and also put across to people that you meet what the dogs trust is all about of the events can be, as I said, it can be small events or the one at Barley Land. There's lots of different activity. There was dog agility, there was best in show, prettiest eyes, where members of the public were encouraged to participate with their dogs. And it, it's a good way of getting the public and the dog trust to interact and getting the points that we want, or the dog trust want to make, across to the public. So what does volunteering give me um, as a person involved in events? It gives me a sense of purpose. It gives me the opportunity to speak to people, talk about dogs in general, talk about what the Dogs Trust is all about and build up a interaction with that person. So when the conversation's finished, they will leave thinking, yeah, I want to do that, or I want to be involved, or wow, I didn't know the Dog Trust did all of those. Anything that they could do to help the Dog Trust. Well, I decided to volunteer for the Dog Trust because um, I changed jobs and I was in a fortunate position to have some time to be able to volunteer, and it's nice to have the opportunity to put something back into the community. I was looking for a role within the Dogs Trust that gave me a chance to um, use some different skills and the 
home visit volunteer role is one that enables you to think on your feet. We don't really know where we're going, what kind of house we're going to end up in. So to have some responsibility to make some decisions on the hoof is, is really uh, a fun job to have as well. My partner, Sue, who uh, comes out with me every Thursday, and we have a laugh. But it's also nice to meet so many different people from different walks of life, and I think that's what makes the job so varied and so interesting. I like to think that I get out of volunteering the, um, the feeling of being able to give something back. Um, I have two dogs, and they're fortunate enough to have a lovely home, loving owners, and not every dog is really in that same position. Not every dog is lucky enough, and they're playing a small part in giving a dog a, a permanent home. That for me is, is you know, the best thing I take home from the job. I decided to volunteer for the Dogs Trust because um, growing up with lots of different breeds of dogs I just feel like some dogs don't get a good chance in life and it's just a nice thing to be able to do to help them. Role as visitor support volunteer um, because I like dealing with the public and obviously my passion for dogs and I just wanted to mix the roles together and really that's like my perfect role. I think what I like best about volunteering for the Dogs Trust is the fact that no day is ever the same. One day I could be answering a call and trying to give some advice and helping on an urgent call or there could be a dog that's been in the trust for some time and they're going to their forever home so that makes it really worthwhile. The most memorable day would be I think when we had um, our two collie crosses that had come in from um, someone that had unfortunately passed away and they was really old and we was looking for their forever home and we eventually found it on a farm and it was their retirement home so that was really nice. Volunteering would be, um, it's just a self-achievement and being able to help and just being able to mix with the public and just know that you're helping a really good cause. I really love animals and I really wanted to volunteer and give something back and I really wanted to work for a large animal welfare charity um, and that were dedicated to dogs' health and wellbeing and obviously trying to find them their forever homes. Um, I was attracted to the admin volunteer role as I believe it was a great opportunity for, to work with dogs and to work with like-minded people and to give something back to a worthwhile charity. The best thing about volunteering for Dogs Trust is spending time with the dogs and helping people find the right dog for them to rehome. It's very rewarding um, and it makes me really happy and I get great satisfaction when the dogs get a new home and I really enjoy helping the staff at the centre and volunteering is just the best job ever. to give something back and basically I really love dogs and why not? Time to, to do a bit so it's good to be learning new stuff and I get on really well with James and Gary and and just basically overall doing everything. And the run of the place is really good and just one big picture really. So I just like helping and it's a really good run centre and it's good to help out and the, general look of the place to be done with gardening and just the overall it makes it look nice and the, the whole percent of the place. So. I recently retired and having a passion for dogs it was the ideal opportunity to volunteer um, because it's a job where you meet your clients first hand and it's nice to be able to play a small part in a huge role where you can help towards rehabilitating that dog. And I've been a foster carer since November 2014. Karina, who deals with the volunteers, sent an email saying, is anyone interested in being a um, foster carer? I replied that evening and when I came into the Dogs Trust the following day, Karina rushed over to me with this huge ball of fluff that um, was a 10 month Bichon free called Olaf. So I ended up fostering him for six weeks. Um, I introduced him to my dogs and they all got on really well. He became part of the family. He then appeared on TV, or oh, Good Morning Britain, and as a result became an overnight star and, and found his forever home. And he was such an adorable puppy to look after.